Kerry Packer's World Series revolution in the 1970s is widely credited with introducing innovations to the sport like white balls and coloured clothing. But in many cases, these modernisations were thought of many years before. These are the top five cricket innovations thought of decades earlier. Traditionalists derided World Series cricket as the pyjama game, when coloured clothing was adopted for night cricket so the white ball wouldn't be lost in the player's clothing. But coloured uniforms dated back to the earliest days of cricket. One of the very first clubs in Australia, the Australian Club, played in blue polka dots. The 1868 Australian Aboriginal team wore red shirts with blue sashes and a Sydney club team in the mid-1800s, the Warwicks, wore pink outfits, predating the Sydney Sixers by 150 years. While thigh and chest guards became widely manufactured in the 1980s, the necessity for this style of protective equipment became a necessity half a century earlier. The fast leg theory or body line tactic adopted by England in the 1932-33 Ashes with balls pitched short of a length and on the line of the body resulted in many Australian players improvising protection. Batsman Bill Ponsford experimented with stuffing towels into his clothing to soften the blows delivered by Harold Larwood and Bill Vose, while prototype chest and thigh guards were developed to deal with increasing demand. Where World Series cricket in the 70s is often credited with the introduction of helmets, the issue of protecting the heads of batsmen arose early in the 1930s. With the bodyline tactic being turned back on the Englishman by the West Indies in 1933, English batsman Patsy Hendren and his wife Millie invented a protective cap with sponge rubber stitched to it to provide protection to the sides of the head. Hendron shocked the crowd at Lord's when he walked out to bat wearing what appeared to be a three-peaked cap. Some traditionalists were horrified when it was announced that numbers would be included on the shirts of test players from the 2019 Ashes onwards, but the concept was far from new. Back before the 1928-29 Ashes, the series in which Don Bradman made his debut, there were calls for players in the upcoming tests to wear numbers on their backs to make them more easily identifiable for spectators. The idea was still circulating into the mid-1930s but slowly died out, being revived almost a century later. Widely believed to be another World Series cricket invention, the white cricket ball actually had its origins in the late 1800s. The Duke's cricket ball manufacturers developed a white cricket ball for the colonial market, believing that it would be seen easier in overseas conditions. Again, there were calls for white balls to be used in cricket into the mid-1930s, but they would only gain in popularity and necessity decades later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.